Oh my god, I love the 1957. They're my favorite band. I love Matt Healy. I wonder if he wears Healy's. Hey guys, it's Nicole. Today I'm going to be doing the last video in my back to school series. It's going to be a collective back to school haul. These are all items that I purchased in between two different shopping trips. Let's go. So first off, I'm going to start with the beauty stuff and I'm going to start with one of my all-time favorite stores is Lush. First product I'll share with you, which is this one of their fresh face masks. It is the Catastrophe Cosmetic. It is a blueberry face mask and I'll show you what it looks like. I think this is honestly the best face mask that I have used from Lush. My skin after I used, like right after I used this, my skin has never felt smoother. And then I bought two bath bombs. One that I bought on the first trip was Butterball. The next one I got is the Twilight bath bomb. But yeah, if you haven't been to Lush and you have extra money to spare because Lush definitely is on the pricier side, I would say if you have the chance, you should definitely go check them out. Now I have another, the last beauty product, but it is not from Lush. It is a perfume and it is the Bethany Moda perfume and Bethany Moda's collection I finally checked out at Aeropostle and it is so cute and I decided to get her perfume because it's only $25 which is a really good price and it smells amazing and it has this cute little charm and I think this is just such a cute perfume. Next I'm going to show you two items from Target that are more back to school items. They're not clothes. The first is this blue planner. It is a blue glitter planner that I got from Target for $10. It's honestly the cutest and it saved my life. I definitely recommend a planner, especially if you're unorganized, which I can be a lot. And um, definitely get a cute one. It's gonna make you want to plan stuff. Like, I am, after this video, probably I am going to go write down all the home football games and all my upcoming things that I haven't written in here yet. Next, I got, this is kind of boring, but I got this laptop sleeve from Target. It's such a simple sleeve and it's a dark purple color and it fits in my book bag so easily. It's just really lightweight and it's it's really snug on the laptop so I feel like my laptop is safe in it. Now I went to Urban Outfitters. At first I got this oversized comfy sweater. Oh my god. I cannot wait to fall. I can't wait for big sweaters and I can't wait to wear this. I just think this was pretty expensive. This was like $80, but this is the only thing I bought at Urban that day, so and I thought it was really worth it. I really love this sweater, and I'm really excited for the fall season so I can finally wear it. The next thing that I bought was this book at Urban Outfitters, which is called 642 Things to Write About, and most of you probably cannot appreciate this book like I do. It just has blank pages and prompts. Some are squares like this and some are full pages and some are half pages to get your creative juices flowing and it was $18 at Urban Outfitters and I just think it's really cute and I, when I saw it I was like I have to get this. I love writing and I love little books like this and yeah. Next I'm going to show you what I got at Macy's. At Macy's I got two pairs of pants and currently in style are these long flowy patterned pants. So I got these one weekend, and then the other pair of pants that I got at Macy's, they are just another like kind of diamond triangle pattern, but they are just red and white, and I think these are really cute, and I'm definitely going to wear these sometime soon. Next, I have one item from American Apparel, and it is the white tennis skirt. I have nothing to say about this, except yes, I am a white basic tumbler girl, and I actually bought the white tennis skirt. That is it. Goodbye. Then at Aeropostle, both of these items are from Bethany Moda's collection. I purchased the blue and green flannel. It's Well, it's not really flannel. It's a really thin fabric, but you know, it's like flannel. And on the back, I got this one over the red and whatever other color, red and black one, I believe, because the red and black one said love with a heart as the O, and I was like, okay, that's lame. So I got this, this one because this one has a really cool skull on the back. I also bought this sweater, which is gray, and it's like an open sweater. It doesn't have any buttons. It's just an open, flowy sweater, and it is 
gray with white stars and I think it's super cute and I just really like oversized sweaters and I'm so excited for fall. Then the last place I went to was Forever 21. I got this shirt that is a thick sweatery material and it's just really cute and it has like a black at the bottom and black on the bottom of the sleeves and it says 57 and and then I just got this classic plain baseball t-shirt which is like a black navy blue sleeve and I thought it was really cute so yeah those are all the items that I got for my back to school lookbook back to school fashions I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the last video of my back to school series and I will have a lot more fall oriented fall oriented videos coming towards you and some more reviews, some hauls, some stuff like that and I'm really excited because I have a lot of upcoming events. As I said, I'm going to have a lot of get ready with me's and yeah, so I have a lot of videos planned and I can't wait for you guys to see them. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, blah, 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 blah. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me in my real life. Just follow me. Follow me, everything is alright. I wanna hear the honey in at night. And if you wanna leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me.